Good morning, everyone. This is Rachel, and I am here at our rabbit exhibit at the Springs Preserve, and we are here for Rabbit Day. Now, we have four desert cottontails that live in our rabbit exhibit, and desert cottontails are pretty specialized. They're actually really well adapted to live here in our desert. They have some pretty cool adaptations. The first thing that you notice about this kind of cottontail is that their ears are much longer than the cottontails that you may see if you're from the east side of the country or even farther north here. And the reason for that is that their ears actually work a lot like air conditioners. And so they'll actually stick them straight up in the air and they'll kind of swivel them back and forth, almost like a fan and the blood supply runs up through those ears and by moving them back and forth, they are able to cool their blood down and it actually lowers their body temperature, which right now with how hot and humid it's been lately, that's a pretty great adaptation. Desert cottontails are herbivores and so that means that they're only plant eaters and here at the Springs Preserve, we feed them things like uh, Timothy pellet or hay. We also feed them all sorts of greens. They have a super healthy diet. Lots of things like dandelion greens, kale, spinach, uh, arugula. They love arugula. If anybody likes that on their pizza, rabbits love that on their breakfast. Um, and they also get vegetables usually. Uh, occasionally we'll give them a fruit like a piece of apple or something like that, but they don't need a whole lot of sugar. And so we'll feed them things like squashes or zucchini. Um, beets are a big popular one, even peppers they like to eat. So they eat a lot of the same kinds of things that we like to eat on our salads. Now, desert cottontails are really plentiful here at the Springs Preserve right now. Um, we could say that they've been breeding like rabbits over the last year, and they've actually done really, really well here while we were closed down uh, with no people to, to interrupt them. So we have a humongous population of desert cottontail. So you don't have to just come here to our exhibit in order to see cottontails. You may see desert cottontail just while you're wandering around here at the Springs Preserve, out on our trails, even in our gardens. So that kind of keeps our garden staff busy too, right? They've got bunnies that they've got to worry about out there, which is not always fun when you've got plants and stuff growing. Uh, they're fantastic at eating all of those things. Now we know that a lot of times desert cottontails can be kind of seen as a nuisance animal just because of that, right? And so people don't like to have them in their gardens. Um, so there's some things that you can actually do that will help you. You can plant things like marigolds around your um, garden area and that will actually help prevent them from coming and munching on other plants. They don't like those. We love our desert cottontails. They've been here since the very beginning, since we opened up. We've had different groups of rabbits come through. And currently the four that we have here, um, we have two males and two females. They're a little bit more difficult to see than our older group that we used to have, but they're pretty, pretty um, predictable. So if you look in a couple of very specific places, we have a hollowed out log that you can usually find somebody in. And then also there's a flat rock in the front of the exhibit. And if you look underneath of it, there's almost always somebody hiding right underneath there in that nice shady spot. The best times to th see these guys is gonna be early when we first open or late, right before we close. Um, that those hot times of the day when we all wanna be inside are the times of the day when they're trying to take a nap in the coolest place that they can find. So we hope you guys have a wonderful rabbit day and come visit our rabbits here at the Springs Preserve soon.